The art of acting consists in keeping people from coughing. In reality, there is, perhaps, no one of our natural passions so hard to subdue as pride. I guess I don't so much mind being old, as I mind being fat and old. Those who govern, having much business on their hands, do not generally like to take the trouble of considering and carrying into execution new projects. The best public measures are therefore seldom adopted from previous wisdom, but forced by the occasion. He that has not got a wife is not yet a complete man. There cannot be a stronger natural right than that of a man's making the best profit he can of the natural produce of his lands. No nation was ever ruined by trade. Who had deceived thee so often as thyself? Remember that credit is money. Danger is sauce for prayers. A child thinks twenty shillings and twenty years can scarce ever be spent. A penny saved is two pence clear. When men and women die, as poets sung, his heart's the last part moves, her last, the tongue. Our necessities never equal our wants. You can bear your own faults, and why not a fault in your wife? Games lubricate the body and the mind. All who think cannot but see there is a sanction like that of religion which binds us in partnership in the serious work of the world. It is only when the rich are sick that they fully feel the impotence of wealth. In general, mankind, since the improvement of cookery, eats twice as much as nature requires. I have never entered into any controversy in defense of my philosophical opinions, I leave them to take their chance in the world. If they are right, truth and experience will support them, if wrong, they ought to be refuted and rejected. Disputes are apt to sour one's temper and disturb one's quiet. Where there is a free government, and the people make their own laws by their representatives, I see no injustice in their obliging one another to take their own paper money. I have no private interest in the reception of my inventions by the world, having never made, nor proposed to make, the least profit by any of them. From a child I was fond of reading, and all the little money that came into my hands was ever laid out in books. Pleased with the Pilgrim's Progress, my first collection was of John Bunyan's works in separate little volumes.